what's your mama doing and all like that but um ladies and gentlemen in this video y'all probably gonna be thinking what is wrong with afro joe and why do you got three comedians and a and a governor flashing up and and i'm gonna tell you the reason why i got these man sitting up on here playing before your eyes is because this I'm always going up on YouTube looking up their videos I love watching Dick Gregory do as a stand up Paul Moody and Christopher Titus I even look up Jesse Ventura and watch his conspiracy episodes on YouTube and uh and I'm sitting up there and I said you got three comedians and a governor you got three guys that tell jokes, and you got an ex-marine, ex-wrestler, ex-governor playing. Uh, why? The reason why is because these men has been telling three. These men has been telling the truth about everything from entertainment business to what the fuck the government is doing and what the fuck we should be doing. Now, I'm set up, and I just got done watching the Christopher Titus video. I've been watching his shit for the last two days. And, I'm, I, and I've been paying attention because I've been watching Dick Gregory's shit for like months. And he's been talking about certain things that we need to pay attention to, like black folks really need to be t paying attention to. And I'm sitting up there, and, and Christopher Titus says something. He's like, well... He says, instead of being a douche and calling yourself a douche, if you're sitting off in the theater and somebody's on their phone, do this, stand up, and tell the guy to get the fuck off his phone. If you say, quit being a douche, stop him right there say, I'm not a douche, I'm a revolution, revolutioner. I say, it's people like you that, people like you that, has, that keeps people like me down, because you're shit. It's something like it. I'm supposed to hit that, that, uh, stand up back in the in the description box but I'm gonna post some of their videos up in the description box so y'all can check out and I want y'all to walk away with something when you watch this shit because some of this shit y'all don't know will shock the shit out of you and this is all true shit this is no lie this is no bullshit you probably saying well how can you believe a comedian all they do is tell jokes I say yeah but it's life, but it's life experience. All these comedians would tell jokes that happened to them in real life. Paul Moody would tell you, so does Dick Gregory, so does Christopher Titus, because you know Christopher Titus based his act off of his life when he was a kid growing up with his dad having a schizophrenic mom. And you sound with. Uh, same with Dick Gregory growing up poor and his mama busting her ass on a job so, same with Paul Moody sitting up there telling people he watched his best friend die because he was on that shit and Ventura he can, he's gonna tell you shit that y'all didn't know because he was in the Marines and he found out years later the shit that he knows now but it's like this, man. We need to wake up and realize what's really going on. When you get people that stands out like they do and tell you, this is what we need to do. This is what you need to pay attention to. This is what we, this is how you need to take this information and use it. Y'all need to listen because one thing is, when I'm people standing up and saying what's really going on in the entertainment business or government, we're in the dark. Because one thing is, half of y'all gonna say the same thing. You can't trust the media. But you gotta realize something. When it's comedians telling you shit that you don't know, y'all gonna laugh and it's that this shit is not true. But when they say this shit is true, y'all still wanna laugh and think it's a joke. But when this shit comes out, in the, out into the light. I sit there for the longest and I'm always telling people y'all need to wake up and realize what the hell is going on. That's me warning y'all that y'all need to pay close attention to what's going around you. You ever seen that movie The Matrix? If you have, it's kind of like that shit. The government is showing you shit that is all lies. 
then it's all lies because one thing is they're not going to show you the truth because they're going to lie because one thing is I forgot one person Eddie Griffin because I was watching his shit his stand up back it was one after the uh, dysfunctional family and we was wearing all, wearing all black and he was breaking that shit down too now I'm telling you and when you get entertainers telling you straight off the bat this is what's really going on I'm not shitting you then you need to get off your ass pay attention before something happens because one thing is when you get comedians that get comedians that's out there telling you the truth it's really trying to say something trying to get you to open up your mind and tell you that what's really going on then I need then I think you need to take that shit into consideration because one thing is what they tell you is the truth because one thing is I said like I said I've been looking up Dick Gregory shit and he's been speaking the truth from the get-go. From the get-go with his shit. Because I'm always looking up his shit. And the reason why I say I'm always looking up his shit. Because he's sitting there. Because he's sitting there telling the people what's really going on. He's telling people. Hey, this is what really happened. That the government don't want to say nothing to you. See, what y'all sitting up here. Allowing these motherfuckers lie in your face. Lie in your face. I'm here to tell you this is what really fucking fucking going on. I'm not shitting you just to make you laugh. I'm telling you this just for y'all can understand something that we are telling the truth. I meant to say four men uh, instead of three because I got to post that Griffin shit up because he's been telling the truth too. Because like I said, man, I'm going to post several of the links to their stand like so, uh, like, I'm going to post up a uh, Christopher Titus link, uh, Dick Gregory link, uh, Ed Griffin link, and uh, Jesse Ventura's link in the description box because I really want y'all to sit down and watch this shit, take this shit in, and then go back and sit down and think about it because one thing is what you don't know might shock the shit out of you. What you don't know might shock the shit out of you because I sat there on that first time I heard this shit. I almost lost my damn mind because the shit I've because the shit I've heard because the shit I've heard I'm talking about I've heard shit from these men not lies but the truth not lies from these guys but the truth and this is not a blunt it's a cigarette and uh and they sit there and they said this shit and I was like man I was like I really didn't know this until they said something I said, but when you find out this shit, you get shocked and amazed. Like uh, when everybody started, what was it? That movie that's floating around the go around the country that the government doesn't want the people to see. No, no, no. Scratch that. Now when Jesse Ventura started going around, showing everything that's really going on in the world, was with, with the that airport out in Denver, Colorado, way out. That airport is like 40 miles, 40 or 50 miles from the city. There's actually building arms, but they're building bunkers under the airport. It freaked the shit out of, like, scared the shit out of people when they found out. That's actually true. These are the people that's been telling y'all the truth for so long, but y'all overlooked. Y'all overlooked. Y'all overlooked him so much. Y'all overlooked for what they saying so much. Because I've sat there for the longest and watched them tell y'all tell y'all shit. And y'all like, hey, that's funny. Eddie Griffin's funny as shit. But when he came down to say that, we, that China owns our ass, you better brush up on your Chinese. He wasn't bullshit. We already in debt to their asses anyway. And then y'all sitting there saying, well, why should we listen to comedians anyway? Because like I said, the only people that's going to tell the truth 
It's the comedians, but in a joking way. These are not lies. These are the truth. Same with Justin Ventura. Oh, but he was in politics, so that made him a liar. Why do you think he lives in Mexico? Because of politics. Politics is the reason why he left the U.S. It wasn't because he was in the good polit. He wasn't in politics or government or wrestling or in the navy or in the military. No, in the Marines. It's because what the government's been doing since day one. Now, like I said, I'm gonna post some of these links to their videos in the description box. Like I said, I want you to go. I want you to watch it. Go watch it, and I want you to think about it. What they're saying in the video. Why should I listen in here? Because what you don't know, you are, we you would know when it comes out into the light. You might get a laugh. It might make you think. But take this to mind. Take this into consideration. Take this to mind that the things they tell you might help you in your life in the long run might help you in the long run make you realize something that you don't know see what I'm saying I sat there for the longest for the longest not believing not knowing this shit was going on until this been told until it's been told I've laughed and I chuckled and when they started being serious that's when I started realizing these guys are telling the truth I'm all like I said I'm always going up on YouTube looking up Dick Gregory shit or Jesse Ventura shit or watching the Eddie Griffin stand up act or watching Christopher Titus or Paul Moody and I'll sit there and I'll watch it but not because I want to get a laugh it's because what they got to say is really interesting because man what you and, and don't knock it until you listen because you gotta remember back in the day back in kings and queens and the kings and queens were sitting in, in their throne rooms who was always in that throne room the court jester you know why the court jester was always in that room it's because the kings always wanted to laugh but the jesters knew the truth. The performers, the entertainers knew the truth about what the king and queen was doing behind the America, behind the people's back. So when you look at these comedians, they're like them jesters. They know the truth. They know what the fuck the government's doing. They know how the government's backsliding and shit. Jesse Ventura know how the government's backsliding and shit because he was into politics. Oh, how can we believe in Jesse Ventura because he wrote a book about 9-11 and he came out with that show, Conspiracy Theory. You gotta, you gotta remember, why, why would any, why would anybody in politics, why would any entertainer leave entertainment to go into politics and to be a governor? And after leaving politics, go out into the world and say, this is what the government's really doing. Ain't no fucking politician gonna do that shit. Ain't no mayor, ain't no governor, ain't no senator gonna sit down and write a fucking book telling the truth besides Jesse Ventura. And one thing is, they can't indict his ass because he doesn't live in the states. And you got these... Four comedians telling y'all the truth. Paul Moody, Dick Greg, Christopher Titus, and Eddie Griffin telling y'all this shit. I'm telling y'all, man. I've said his fun longest. Telling people in YouTube videos, Facebook, MySpace, Daily Motion videos, saying that we need to wake up and realize something. I always I sat there and I did that one about that video about how kids, uh, adults are the new parents, I mean adults are the new kids, the kids are the new adults, or the kids are sitting up there inhaling bath salt, and the parents don't give a shit, 
And I'm sitting up there telling y'all need to wake up and realize something that's out there. I'm not the only one that's doing that. You got these big name people sitting up there saying this shit. Big name people. How many pe how many entertainers gonna get off their ass and say, look, this is what we need to be doing. This is not many. You'll get you get just you get these these men and probably Whoopi Goldberg saying something. But Whoopi can't say too much because she worked for ABC. ABC's into politics. Can't get Oprah. Oprah's kissing politics. Hey, she's the. Like, I'm going to say this. Oprah's a house nigga to, to the government. Oh, how you going to say that about Oprah? Because it's true. Oprah is a house nigga to the government. Yeah. How many times you heard Oprah ever criticize the government? None. And you wonder why. When the government tells Oprah to jump, she asks how high. When the government says roll over and play dead, she roll over and play dead. But when they get a true <laughs> outspoken entertainer going out there, they are already taking a close look at them. Very close look at them. Now, I'm not saying, sitting up there trying to blow smoke up your ass and saying, well, this is what you need to do, and I'm sitting up there lying my ass off. No, I'm sitting up here telling y'all this because y'all need to wake up and realize something, that these people are sitting up there telling the truth. Four of them are telling it in a joking way. One of them is actually was in politics that's actually going to tell you the truth. There's no way in hell, like I said, there's no way in hell a fucking politician, somebody that was in politics, is going to sit down and write a book, go on national TV and say, this is what your government's doing. This is what you should be doing. Because Jesse Ventura seems like he's the only one. I ain't seen Bill Clinton write no fucking book. I ain't seen him write a book. Oh, this is what really happened in the White House. Hillary was always gone. I was getting my dick shot by Monica. But one thing is, they didn't want me to fuck Hillary. They didn't want you to know shit. But these fuckers are telling you this, telling the truth. I watched a video about what, what Dick Gregory said. He was sitting up there talking about Tiger Woods. And it kind of fucked me up because... When I sat there and watched it, I was kind of fucked up, man, because I was like, oh my God, are you shitting me? The reason why Tiger Woods got his ass whipped is because he knew Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson was shaving points, saving or shaving points, and the only reason why Michael Jordan, excuse me, the only reason why Michael Jordan's father is dead is to take the investigation off of him and put it on his daddy. Now this is real shit. I won't really put that, because I'm going to post that link, that video in the description box where he talks about this shit. I'm not fucking with nobody. I'm not bullshitting nobody. I'm not trying to blow smoke up nobody's ass. I'm not trying to lie to your faces. I tell the honest truth. And I'm always putting the evidence, to, I always put the shit in my description box to back me up. I'm always putting shit in my description box that's going to back my stories up. I'm always going to put something that show that I'm not lying. Like, I'm going to put several of the, uh, the, st uh, they st uh, uh, Christopher Titus, Eddie Griffin, and uh, Paul Moody stand-up pack into the descriptions, the parts where they really talk about politics, what's really going on, on what people's really doing, because they're going to tell you the truth, or part of their stand-up stand -up acts. See what I'm saying? I'm putting a uh, uh, description in the box about uh, for Jesse Ventura when he talks about 9-11. And this is the stuff that y'all really need to hear because you don't know what's really going on until you hear people like them that was in it, that's in the entertainment business come out and tell you the truth. They're going to make you laugh, but they're going to make you think. I've actually sat there and watched Dick Gregory talk about how Martin Luther King's death was set up by black folks. A guy actually talks about he knew they was going to kill Martin Luther King and he had to move out the fucking way. Jesse knew. Oh, Jesse who? He was probably, not Jesse Ventura, but 
Jesse Jackson knew that Martin Luther King was going to die that day. And that's how it is. That's, that's, that's how it is, man. I'm not shitting you just to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not. I'm not doing it because that ain't me. <laughs> and I make you, because really, I sit there and make you think about what's really going on out there in the world. Now it's time for y'all to get this evidence, this truth, and use it to your advantage. <laughs> that's how it is. And that's how it is, because I'm not going to lie to nobody. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe, 10 like a T-I-E is again. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And make sure y'all don't take this information and use it to your advantage. Go out and re be and, revel and be, a, be in the revolution. Stand up to this bullshit. Don't be part of it. Don't be part of the problem. Be part of the show. Be part of the solution. If y'all can, if y'all motherfuckers can sit there and boycott and go to this tea party shit, y'all can take this information that you learn from these entertainers and use it and boycott the government. That's how it is with me. This has been Afro Joe Ten, like it is again. Peace.